now that we have the rip set up now we're going to go back into our Photoshop and just print our graphics like we typically would these graphics again are going to go on to inkjet dark transfer paper even though they might not be the best way this is what the customer wants that's what they're willing to pay so we're going to do it that way we're going to scroll down go file print click on the proceed button we're going to choose the Malta Rip Stylus Pro 7800 click on properties and advance the first thing we'll do is we'll set our paper size our paper size again is 11 by 13 and a half and you notice we have 11 by 14 but we don't have any 11 by 13 and a half it is important that you use the same paper size that you have in your imposition since we don't have that we're just going to click on edit the custom page size we're going to set it up as the width being 11 the height being 13 since the width number is smaller than the height we're also going to change our paper feed direction to short edge first. Go ahead and click OK. Now we can then turn around. I like to use the enhance button for my inkjet dark transfer paper, so I'll keep that the same. The color mode is going to be full CMYK. All, you can choose whatever RGB source profile or CMYK that you have set up for your file to print. Just remember, whatever you use in your graphics software program, just using the RIP as well. In this case, we don't want to mirror our image because we're using a dark transfer paper. Our ink type is going to use multi-ink, so that's our dark transfer ink. Our media type, we're going to use transfer photo. I also have the choice to transfer photo bright. In this case, because of some of the frames around that have some bright colors, I'm actually going to go with transfer photo bright. And then I'm going to turn around and go down to the bottom of it and click on the imposition. And underneath the imposition, I want to choose auto. Once we've checked the imposition side of it, we'll go back through, double check to see if there's anything else that we need to change. Everything looks good. Go ahead and hit OK. And OK. And OK. It's now going to send the first file to the RIP. We'll click on the second file, and we're going to go through the same exact process. For most computers, all you'd have to do is just go to go to the actual and hit OK now. We're going to double check it just to make sure. Some computers don't save all the settings. We're at 11 by 13 and a half, short edge first is correct. Scroll down. We're going to be running uh, multi-ink, transfer photo bright, running auto for the imposition, and we're not going to mirror it. So all of our settings stay the same. Go ahead and hit OK. Now both of the files will be going through the RIP. The first one has been rendering through the RIP. The second one will be right behind it. Notice down at the bottom down here that it's that the file said not ready, layout not ready to be printed. I'll scroll back up for you to see that where it says layout not ready to, for print yet. And that just means that the job is being held in the process tab and has not been sent to the printer tab because we're using the imposition feature. Once this second job makes it into the process jobs tab, you'll notice up here that it'll say assembly and you'll see another progress bar going across. That basically means that the RIP is putting it together into our template or signature and then is going to create one individual file which will then be sent to the pages to printers tab. Just so you can see, you can click on the individual job and preview each of the ones that have been sent. Now what you will find out is after the assembly has happened, you're going to see another file show up down here. The file is actually going to start off with the name of the signature you have with a number following it as it just showed up right now. When we go to preview this one, you're going to notice that it's going to have both of the jobs put together into one individual one. We go to the Pages to Printers tab, and now we have the one individual job that is waiting to be sent to the printer. You also have the capability now of turning around and exporting this individual job out, so that way you can save it in case anybody needs a reprint done later on. It's going to use the exact same settings you have not only in your software program but also the settings you set up in the printer side of it as well. The final thing you need to know about the step and repeat program 
is if you want to change different templates and things like that, that we strongly recommend you go into the utilities and position and clearing and position items. You go ahead and have to click yes. If for whatever reason you send some stuff to an imposition file but it isn't already been forced out, um, you need it to go but it's still missing one or two th of the items, you could actually go to utilities and position and then force print. It'll take whatever's in the imposition and print it. It is going to use that extra space of the paper. So if you're using the auto cut function on a roll, um, it is going to leave the extra gap of where the template was that you did not fill. And that is the imposition software feature in Multirip. If you have more questions, please visit multiripusers.com. Thank you. Have a great day.